Hi, everybody. So today I want to talk about being mindful with your parts and your computers. And namely, if you have an old computer or say a customer gives you, whether it's a laptop, a desktop, any old part, what do you do with it? It's so easy as a computer repair shop or any business that if you get parts that you retain and, and they could be garbage, they could be useful, whatever it is in your business, say you have a automobile business and somebody just gives you old parts from a car or they give you like tools or whatever it is. So what I want to stress for those parts and when you're getting this equipment, I want to stress, do something, be proactive as somebody with decades of experience and repair shops. I know that if you take a part and I have basically behind me here, lots of laptops and, and I'll get to that in a second, but I know if you get a whether it's a part, a laptop, whatever it is for your business, and say a customer brings it in to recycle or donate, you need to know what to do with it in advance. Otherwise, you're going to have a shelf full of crap. <laughs> and this is going to take up space. And space is money. But then that space could be otherwise used for display or something else. So I want you to have two or three routes of what to do with recycled equipment. Now, I'll give you a scenario. We have a customer comes in and they give us a computer that they just want to say, you know what? We don't want this anymore. Can you take this off our hands? Now, many places will actually charge for recycling fees because you got to take that computer and you have to actually go off and pay somebody to take it from you and dispose of it in an environmentally friendly way. That's that. However, I urge you as a, especially a computer repair shop, to do free recycling like we do. And we have a few routes. So these computers behind me, these are all essentially computers. I'd say 85% of them are from customers that said, I don't want them anymore. Take them off our hands, do whatever you want with them. Just make sure that I don't want files in some creepy person's hands, right? You have to do the right thing. Don't just take it and do nothing with it. Wipe out the hard drive. I want to sleep well at night, so I do that. And I make sure guys do that. But you should do that too. Otherwise, you're just a bad person. Don't be that bad person. You want to take these computers, have a route, which way to go. Route one, I have one of our techs check it out. Is it viable? Is it alive? Can we still work with it? Then if it's workable, is this something that we could donate? Can we give it to a school? Can we give it to a company? Do we have a client that we know might need it? That's one route. I like to always go that donation route, whether it's a school or somebody I know that even a customer that I know, maybe they're in a hardship times, whatever it might be, and we'll give it to them. So that's one. You always want to give first. It makes you feel good. Be grateful that we can do that and allow somebody else to enjoy somebody else's. It's a, the best way to basically reuse and somebody else gets the benefit. It's very simple. That's that. And so the next route is, is it something that it's still working where you can actually put in a part that economically makes sense to get it up and running again. So if you can do that, great. So that's the next stage. So it's either you donate it, you repair it. And then, then the last stage is if there's nothing to do with this at all, I don't like to throw it out. I really don't. I want to sell it. I want somebody else to use it. I'm a big proponent of not having stuff in landfills. I don't like whether it's this book thrown, you know, that doesn't turn on, or maybe this does turn on. I don't know. I haven't even checked this for a while. Um, but what I do is I number it. I have a system. It doesn't look like much, but it is a system. And I have an Excel sheet. Um, and from there, I could see what's wrong with it. And then I sell it. And so I sell it either on the website, I go on eBay, go on Amazon, Walmart. And from there, I see exactly what's wrong with it and what you can do with it. And you know what? There are takers out there. There are other computer repair companies out there that have a need for this, like you would if you have a, a keyboard or a screen or whatever it is. But just be upfront about what's working, what's not, or else it's just not going to be fun afterwards. That's it. I just wanted to let you know, do something, be proactive with your parts, your computers, and it's just going to serve you better. It's going to feed the environment in a nicer, less used way. It's all around efficient. And you know what? 
And the day two, if for whatever reason it's totally scraps and everything on it is bad, then you can recycle it. But take those steps first. Let's do well and good to the environment and others around you. And that's it. I just want to share that for how to be proactive with your parts. Okay. Thank you so much.